you may be surprised to learn that India's life expectancy at the time of independence was 35 years. Today, it is 67 years for males and 69 years for females. I am Dr. V. Mohan and today I am going to talk to you about the life expectancy of people with diabetes. First, let me tell you the bad news, then I will tell you the good news. The bad news is that even in developed countries, UK, US, Germany, Japan, on an average, diabetes reduces one's life expectancy by 7 to 10 years. So now going back to India's life expectancy, 67 for males, 69 for females, you minus 7 or 10 from that. So what does it tell you? It suggests that people with diabetes in India will not cross 60 years of age. And the bad news is that it's true in many cases. When people don't look after the diabetes, they get it young, they tend to develop complications. They get it when they're 20 or 30, by the time they're 50 or 60, they develop kidney complication, heart complication, and they can die when they're 60. But that's very rapidly changing. Thanks to technology, thanks to improvement in the awareness levels about diabetes and better management of diabetes. We have been in the field of diabetes for now 40, 50 years. We have patients who have been coming to us from the time they were diagnosed. We started looking at our medical records and the first thing that we published two years ago was a report which created ripples, no I would say waves in international research when we showed that people with type 2 diabetes can live for 30, 40, 50 or more years with diabetes. Till today in the world literature that is the first paper to show that people with type 2 diabetes can live for 40, 50 years or more. But in that paper we did not look at the age of the patient, we just looked at how long they had diabetes. There is a saying that for every year of diabetes that you have, one year gets added to your age. So we talk about what is called as the chronological age and the biological age. Chronological age is your actual age. If you are 50 years old, then you are 50 years old. But suppose you are 50 years old and you have 20 years of diabetes, your biological age is actually 70 because 20 gets added on to that. Very recently, we shocked the world with an outstanding paper which was published in an American journal where we reported for the first time in the world on people with diabetes who were above 90 years of age. Some of them had crossed 95 years and my first patient I am very happy to share with you viewers crossed 100 years and he celebrated his 100th birthday. Now, if you follow this chronological age and biological age principle, this man has diabetes of 60 years, 60 years. He is 100 years old now. So, his biological age is 160 years. Unbelievable, isn't it? But it is true. The man is still alive. He talks very fluently. He has recorded a video to say how he is able to live for 100 years. And in one of my subsequent videos, I will share the secrets as to how these people lived up to 100 years. But the myth that people with diabetes cannot live beyond 60 years, we have completely debunked it. We have now shown that people can live up to 100 years just like anybody else. And what I would like to leave you with is the thought that actually people with diabetes can actually live longer than a person without diabetes, live healthier than a person without diabetes. So these are changing times and all you have to do is to follow the rules and then you can forget about diabetes. Diabetes is no longer a disease, it is a simple disorder and that is the good news I would like to leave you with. I would like to hear from you whether you have heard of people who have lived up over 90 years of age and share such stories with me. Thank you for watching.